Hello, it's a real pleasure to be with you from West London, from Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Qatar, and they take on Spain. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the Qatar starting 11. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. Here's the lineup for Spain. David De Gea starts in goal. Jordi Alba plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Dani Parejo starts with Rodri in central midfield. And the main striker for this match is Gerard Moreno. And the match underway here at Stamford Bridge. Using his physique to shield the ball and then wait for others to get there. Corner coming up. Can someone get on the end of this? Very much run of the mill as saves go. And intercepts again. Parejo. It's with Oyar Sabal. Plenty of options. Parejo this looks threatening oh not to be an opportunity wasted early in the game well maybe it's come a little bit too early Derek but that's a wasteful finish Well, you can't drop your guard even for a fleeting moment when you're up against Oyar Thabal. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him today? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Moreno. Now Parejo. Llorente. They could nudge in front, and it goes! An early opening statement in this match, and look at the celebrations. Well, as we can see here, the pass from Llorente is absolutely perfect, and then the finish from Moreno demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal that is. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Oh, 
Moving into the advanced position. Llorente. Oh, a fine block. They've got it now. What can they do? Well, the counter chance looks very real. Will they profit from this situation? Now a decent position. And the referee has given them a corner. Playing it in. Not all that convincing defensively. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Gerard Moreno. Pedri. It's with Oyar Sabal. Moreno. Pavejo. Now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Offside by a fraction. Rodri, Pavejo, and back with Moreno, can he take advantage? And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Taken short. Looking for the angle. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Sergio Ramos. Llorente. And just failing to bend the run enough. And the flag has been raised. Abdulaziz Hatem and the advantage accrues to the attacking side well very effective play in possession surely the equaliser oh he couldn't outwit the keeper And over it comes. Oh, did so well to deny him. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Rodri. Pedri. Nice looking pass. Nicely timed tackle. And showing fine vision.
Pedri. And here's Gerard Moreno. They really look after the ball when they have it. Rodri. What a shocking pass, really. Afif. Pedri. That's useful play. Crossing possibilities. Pavejo. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Marcos Llorente. It's with Oyar Sabal. Moreno. Parejo. And getting across to stop it. Who can he pick out? And clearing it away. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, a tremendous amount to like about what Parejo has contributed, Stuart. Well, he's run the game, hasn't he? Everything's gone through him. His passing has been excellent and he's provided a goal-scoring pass as well. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Perfect challenge. Well, attacking possibilities. This looks promising. Moreno. Will he find the net? And there! Three goals in front now, an immense performance. Well, as the replay shows us, Moreno's pass is inch perfect and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. goals without reply Parejo the ball with Rodri Llorente How can they create something in it goes but it will not stand Offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Oh. 
getting forward. Jordi Alba. Well shown inside. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And clears his lines. Determined defending. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Marcos Llorente. Pedri. Can he finish this? Pretty simple for the keeper. Well, no surprise there. Spain have had most of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. And they're making a change. It's a short corner. Can he find the net? Well kept out. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? There well, are so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Moreno. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Jordi Alba and here's Gerard Moreno another successful intervention winning the ball back threatening oh it almost did the trick for them great defending 20 minutes to go in this one and that puts them in position and the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Is it going to be? Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Well, my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Marcos Llorente. Parejo. And back with Moreno. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Ali. And he's broken free. Oh, offside. How marginal was that? But the flag is raised. Number 16, Rodri, coming onto the pitch. Number 5, Sergio Busquets.
And tremendous defensive intuition from Sergio Ramos. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Laporte. Is this the moment? And begging to be put away. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Ten minutes to go. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And he has options available. Busquets using his physical strength to shield it. But just like that, possession changes hands. Llorente, here's Moreno, my goodness that save, fully stretched he was, one for his own highlights reel. They take it short. Thiago, Llorente, and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And played short. Cuts in from the flank. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. They need to get bodies back. In position here to protect the ball. Pedri. And here's Gerard Moreno. Thiago. Marcos Llorente has it. Moreno. Unsuccessfully cut out. Good technique displayed. The referee is given a corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And it's over now. A win for Spain. It has gone according to their master plan. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.